what is needed to install Visual Studio 2022 for the Mac with the MAUI capabilities? The current version for Visual Studio for Mac is 17.6.1, that is as of July of 2023. Visual Studio requires Xcode to be installed, and Xcode is an Apple requirement for building or compiling iOS apps. So for 17.6 Visual Studio for Mac, it will require Xcode 14.3 or greater. And Xcode 14.3 requires the Mac OS be Ventura 13.0 or greater. Now, if you don't have Ventura or you have a machine that won't run Ventura, you can install an older version of Visual Studio for Mac. The first one that supports MAUI is 17.4 that came out in November of 2022. It will require Xcode 14.1. You can download the older version of Xcode from Apple and it will require Monterey 12.5. The other thing you will need is an Apple ID that's free. You can get it at appleid.apple.com, and you also need a developer account, which is developer.apple.com. You have a couple choices for the developer account. One is a free account, and that's really all you need. If, however, you want to distribute your app and put it up on the App Store, you will need a paid developer account, and that is $99 a year. For now, I'd recommend just doing the free one, and if you develop something you want to put out there for others to enjoy, then purchase the paid developer account. I've already upgraded my Mac OS to Ventura 13.5. But I have an older version of Xcode and that's the next step is to install or upgrade Xcode. To install or update Xcode, we're gonna go into the App Store and search for Xcode. I already have an earlier version of Xcode installed but I need the most recent version to get the .NET MAUI. So I'm gonna click the Update and it'll take a little while to download this. This is very large, uh, about five gigabytes. So I will pause the video here. When it's finished downloading, we'll get an open button. I'm gonna click that. You can choose the platforms you wanna build for. I'm gonna build for Mac OS and iOS 16. Click install. And you'll have to give your administrator password to install. And then we'll open Xcode. We're going to create a new Xcode project to make sure that everything's working. I want to create an app. Say next. Give it a product name. I'm just going to call it Xcode Test. You choose where I want to save it. I'll simply click Create. And over here on the left-hand side in Xcode is basically what we consider sort of our solution explorer. There is a main page. So I'm gonna to go to the main page and we're working in the storyboard environment. And I can click this little plus sign up here to get my library of controls. I'm just gonna take a label and drag the label onto my screen. I'm gonna stretch it out. I'm gonna line the text so it's centered. I'm going to change the word label simply to be Xcode test. So all this app is going to do is just display that text. To test the app, we have our various emulators here. I'm going to choose the iPhone 14 Pro, click the play button on the top, it's going to load the simulator. Get a message saying build succeeded, that's good. Here is the simulator. It's launching the app. And there's my app. So I now know that Xcode is running fine, it's accessing the iOS simulator. I'm going to close the simulator, shut down the app, and I'll go ahead and just say save, and I'm going to exit Xcode. Okay, so the next step now is to install Visual Studio, which will utilize Xcode in building our .NET MAUI applications for iOS. In your browser, go to visualstudio.microsoft.com. 
we're going to scroll down to Visual Studio 2022. We want to do a free download of the community. We want the Visual Studio for Mac. So I'm going to come over here to the bottom right, choose Visual Studio for Mac, and click Download. Once it's finished downloading, go ahead and open that up to get to the installer, and then double-click the installer. I'm going to go ahead and open the installer. Click Continue. And here we want to choose what we want to install. We probably want the .NET platform, but also you make sure you get the .NET multi-platform app UI. That will give us access to the MAUI. If you want to install Blazor, you can also do the .NET WebAssembly. I have the Xamarin Android and Xamarin iOS installed from my previous version of Xcode. Probably doesn't hurt to include those. You might want to go back and maybe try something from, from Xamarin or open a Xamarin project that you might want to move into Maui. So I think it's good to have those installed as well. Click the Install and Update. And this will take a while. Uh, Visual Studio is a very large file. You will have to give your credentials for the administrator password. Go ahead and enter that in. And then click OK. At this point, I would take a break and let it install. Since I had the Open When Done Installing checkbox selected, it will launch Visual Studio 2022 for Mac as soon as it's done installing. We're going to create a new application. I want to choose a .NET MAUI app. We'll do .NET 7.0, although 6.0 is also available to us. If you're working on an older version of Visual Studio, uh, maybe you had Monterey 12, you might want to do the .NET 6. I'm going to give it a name of MAUI test. Choose where I want the project to be saved. And click Create. Here is our application. Over on the left-hand side is our Solution Explorer. One thing I want to point out is the Platforms folder, which contains folders for Android, iOS, Mac Catalyst, which is our Mac OS, Tizen, and Windows. Now again, we can't comp compile for Windows here, but we can create the code for it. Then we have a main page.xaml. That's This is our one-page simple app. So that first page is called main page. XAML is our interface code. We're displaying an image and some labels and a button. And then the C-sharp code behind it is in the main page XAML.cs. To test wrap, we can click the play button. But over to the right of that is where we can choose the device or emulator or simulator we want to test on. And you'll notice here, I don't see any iOS emulators or simulators as we saw in Xcode. And that's a common problem in that we need to pair Visual Studio with Xcode. We only need to do this once after we've installed Visual Studio. I'm going to go to Preferences. I want to locate the Apple SDK. Click the ellipses, locate Xcode, click Open, and say OK. There's also a button here to restart Visual Studio, so I'm going to go ahead and do that to have this take effect. So we start Visual Studio. You can choose Maui Test. And now for the list of emulators, simulators, and connected devices, we do get all of our iPhone and iPad simulators. I'm going to choose the iPhone 14 Pro. And I'm going to click the Start button that's going to launch the emulator or simulator. If we watch the area down here in the lower left hand corner, we'll see it's waiting for it to connect to the emulator. And there is our project running in the iOS emulator. And click the button, and it tells me how many times I click the button. That is the sample app that comes with .NET MAUI. I'm going to Go ahead and just stop the application. 
And then if I wanted to test this, say, in an Android emulator, I could choose that and test. In a future video, we'll look at how to set up the Android emulators. So it's building the project for Android. Now deploying to the device. And here then is our project running in Android, and our button works there as well. Okay, I'll go ahead and stop the project. Everything's been working fine between Visual Studio and Xcode and our emulators. A little tip if for some reason the project doesn't run in your emulator, check the application output. You might find an error. I would simply copy that error into Google and do a search for it and follow whatever instructions you find about that error. If you just jumped into this video, you can see all the videos from the .NET My Practicum playlist by clicking on the image in the lower right. And if you'd like to be alerted to future videos I create, you can click my picture in the top right to subscribe to the channel.